point of this, the main point of this is toxic people, environments. I need to, I'm just, I'm, that's going to be the next video I do because honestly it is popping up everywhere. But oh, you guys need to friggin' feel empowered and you need to feel friggin' satisfied with everything that you do. Like I'm Mama Ruby. I will give you good, like I will nourish you and I will give you loving support and kick up the bums when I need to. But if you need tough love, I will give you tough love. And if you are allowing people to actually have such an impact on the way that you feel and your moods, like if you cannot take yourself out of a negative environment or away from negative people to actually allow yourself to feel proud of yourself every step of the way or to allow yourself to be open and freaking empowered in everything that you do to be so sure of your actions, to be so sure of what you say and what you do. And if you've actually made like even the miniest of wins and you pro like, if you're scared to post something because you're fearful of judgment or whatever the hell, like block those people. If you let these people infiltrate your lives and you are, like, I think of it like you're a boat and you still have the anchor down. How are you meant to get to wherever the hell you want to go if you still have the anchor there? Like, okay, you can put, you can like get help and put on some supercharged motor that somehow can tug an anchor along, but you would be going a lot faster if that anchor wasn't sunk into the sand. So you need to get rid of all of that. Like it's hard and I have it in my podcast as well. So if you go back through my podcast, I'm pretty, I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure I have something that's actually called negative people or negative environment or something like that way back when, because I was helping other people get through their shit. But you will get into a loop of self-sabotage if you do not allow yourself to have a positive feedback loop. There's a positive feedback loop and there's a negative feedback loop. If you don't allow yourself to transition into the positive feedback loop and reward yourself in non-food ways for actually doing amazing things, for actually making small steps to change, for actually trusting whatever it is that you've tr entrusted upon yourself to do whatever it is that you want to do, or to actually put yourself out there and like, Juhi, for example, you see her posting all the time. I remember I used to try and get just, just one video, just one video of her. Just one. I'm not putting my phone anywhere. Just freaking put your phone somewhere and take a video. But but then people will just, Juhi, take a freaking video. But people will stare. Just take a video. Like, we went through these conversations all the time. Now she puts her phone probably on someone's bench while they're benching. She doesn't. But you know what I'm trying to say? Like, be confident within yourself own it because now look at her she's gone from here to here and if you want to be able to feel so empowered that you just what's that word indestructible that's the word if you want to feel indestructible in everything that you do and actually make the progress you will not make any like i made a post the other day go read it like so what if you're going to look physically attractive? If you haven't worked on the mind and become mentally strong and mentally tough, then the physical, the, the exterior means nothing because you're not satisfied. You're not strong. Like the tiniest little bump in the road or an X from your past life or anything like that, just anything to just take you off your path, it's going to give you a bigger kick than it should give you if you do not allow yourself to actually work on the mind because the gym doesn't just get you strong in the gym. It gets you stronger in life because if you work on that mindset, if you learn to push yourself through certain things, if like, it's not just about training the body, it's about training the mind because not only are you going to be stronger through training, stronger through dieting or food relationships or fighting cravings, but it actually transfers into life. Like it really does. I was, t I don't know if you guys know my story, but I said it to Tracy the other day. She, Tracy mentioned something to me and I said to her, well, would you believe that I would have never put a photo of myself onto social media if it wasn't color? I didn't like, I went to see, I'm really good friends with one of my exes actually from high school. I went to see me other, like the other month and he goes to me, I still remember the days where your whole MySpace was black and white in the MySpace days. 
I would not have a, like there was no photo of me in color anywhere unless it was highly photoshopped. And by photoshopped, it, like I used to send my photos to one of my friends who used to love, she was, she did art at school and she used to use all my photos. She used to make them look amazing with all that pixel light, like canvas and crayons and whatever the hell. I've never owned Photoshop in my life. She used to do it all. But unless it was black and white or highly photoshopped by her, my photo would not end up anywhere. And now I'm just po like, I don't, I, the best I do is filter it on Instagram. And like, I did a podcast the other day, The Secret to Success. And that's where I talked about the fact where, how much are you holding yourself back from living life, from being the best version of yourself, from just being the person you want to be, getting from here to here, from feeling all the feelings you want to feel. Remember, remember my goal setting videos. How do I want to feel in 2000? I'll show you what I'm pointing to. How do I want to feel in 2019? Mentally, physically, financially, and health-wise. How are you going to be this person if you don't allow yourself to let go of the chains that are holding you down? If you don't allow yourself to actually be empowered because it actually holds you back from living if you're so freaking caught up in a shell of, I'm not confident enough to do this. You're going to miss out on so many freaking opportunities. And trust me, I missed out on so many, but I have zero regrets because it made me who I am today. All of my shit experiences, all of the shit I went through, I feel like I've went through like 10 lives worth of shit, which is why I'm able to be so empathetic with so many of you as well. And also just the person I am, I actually feel shit I've never felt myself because I'm able to put myself into your shoes. I don't know well maybe i'm not i do know where it comes from but fact is being i don't have the regrets because i'm able to help out that that's why i'm so passionate about what i do but do you get what i'm trying to say like get out of your shell be freaking confident stop worrying about what D dally dick sally sue harry bob whatever think about you and just live just just live because I'm um, like, for example, I went to a random gym and I freaking acted like I've been there for years. This was when I went on holidays to the Gold Coast. When you guys know, when I went for like two comps ago, I went on holidays. I was putting my phone everywhere and I was taking photos, being bold. I didn't even, I took my shoes off and I didn't even know the freaking gym and I was training in my socks. I only put my shoes on for some of the exercises. I acted like I owned it. I don't care what any of them thought about me. They're not going to sit, like, I'm not going to see them all the time. And even if I did, are they going to be either making me money, making me happier, adding to my life, building with me? Are they doing anything to get me closer to where I want to be? If they don't have any part in making me a better version of myself, then their opinions of me mean jack shit. Just like if I had some, like, divorce or ex or whatever the hell, is he the only way that he has the power to impact my future is if i let him everything is a choice the way they make you feel is how you choose to let them make you feel everything is your choice and if it's not your choice then it's something you can't control so you just need to figure out a way to handle it better but it's either something you can control or you can't control but even what you can't control is a choice in the way in how that what you can't control makes you feel you just need to reframe it perceptions are everything i'm rambling and it's going over 10 minutes but i hope listen to this 100 times over if you have to but i hope that gave you some type of gold jewels i keep mixing up my words gold and jewels for your sunday i love you all and i really really do hope that that that, that helps some of you at least because I know that there's not just one or two of you that goes through some type of self-doubt somewhere or lets some demon in, but really let go of your anchor. And it's freaking, I'm losing track of days. It's the 6th of January, sixth day into 2019. I don't even give a shit about days. Like every single minute is a chance to reframe your thoughts to have a more positive day. So if or like the past hour was freaking shit, Go blast some whatever music you listen to. Dance like a friggin' lunatic. Get some happy vibes and endorphins into you. <laughs> I love you, Marlene. I'm so glad. Thank you. Because I, to be honest, see, this is another thing. 
I always question whether I ramble too much. The video that I put up in the pin post, I actually sent it to five people saying, should I redo this? I think I'm rambling too much. And then two of them are like, you know you wouldn't be Ruby without the ramble. So, but yeah. Honestly, just shake it out. Put Taylor Swift, shake it off on. And just shake it off like a lunatic and try and feel better again and just attack the day from that moment forward. Don't let one moment impact the rest of the day because that's, if you do, you're missing out on however many hours of life. Every single, single freaking minute is worth living. Unless you want to go lie in bed and catch up on sleep, go and own, go and own the day, okay? Because sleep is important. That's the only other time you can miss out on life if it's to catch up on sleep. I love you all.